Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another look at what is about to leave Game Pass. Anyway, you've got to the 15th of February to complete or at least play a few of these top, top games including a few easy completions, so let's do it. So, first up then, we have the really cool yet slightly frustrating Besiege Console Edition. Now this is a physics based action game where you basically have to create certain vehicles in order to complete the level. Luckily some fantastic people have created specific vehicles which you can download straight off the bat to smash the old pasty with. Then your job is to just beat each level, uh, but there are a few miscellaneous achievements in some levels but when you've downloaded the right vehicle it is an easy old time. Now as I said, because it is physics based, the controls are quite and very janky danky. So you'll probably re uh, be replaying a few levels, but stick with it and e an easy enough 1k is yours. Plus yours truly here has a guide if needed, winky face. Next up we have Recompile. Now this is a 3D hack and slash type metroidvania game with a great story but with some rather simple platforming. It's still quite a bit of fun, and even more so when you do get used to it. Now, achievements-wise, it's not too bad either, but you'll need to be grabbing quite a few collectibles, finishing the game with only certain memories uploaded, completing certain sections without killing an enemy, which you can do after the game, so that's not too bad either. But it really does depend on if you do enjoy these Metroidvania-type hack-and-slash games or not. Either way, it's going to complete a, uh, take about 6 to 8 hours to complete, um, if so, like I said, it's still still quite a fun game, so get it, yeah. Or now, for the uh, English-speaking people there. Now then, this is a bit of a weird one. Crossfire X. Now, when I say weird, it was it, ju it was just supposed to be better, okay? It was meant to be an it was just meant to be incredible, but a lot of people have been left ra feeling rather deflated with it. But not only is it going off Game Pass, the servers for it will be closing completely on May the 18th, which means, well, you can't play it after that. Now, that's pretty straightforward. It's only been on console for about a year too, so woohoo, BOA. Now, as for achievements though, the list is very straightforward, luckily. It's a case of basically having to play 100 matches, getting 100 kills, and 100 kills with a headshot. But what may make this even slightly easier is. Every win that you get, the match counts as two wins. A headshot, each headshot, each headshot, that's what I'm trying to say, that you do counts as two kills, and a penetration headshot counts as two headshots. So that's, uh, I mean, it's, it's not really a revolution, but it is a good idea, and it does make things slightly easier. Um, so you may, you don't actually, you may not have to actually complete 100 kills, 100 matches, etc. Either way, it is worth the blast, but don't expect it to be like me, which is a 10 out of 10. Hey, hey, winky winky. Ah, uh, no, I jokes, I suck. So then, this is a bit different from Outright Games, the publisher for the likes of the Game of the Year, my friend Peppa Pig, Ryan's annoying voice and racing game, Paw Patrol, etc, etc. Uh, now, Tilko Itzod, phew, what a name, or Tilko Iatsod is a very much action-adventure game, which it pretty much reminds us of games like Ben 10, etc, etc. There's lots of bosses, you need to do lots of upgrades, lots of crafting, and a few comic book covers to collect. That's the whole game, and the achievements list, funnily enough. So again, you've got to upgrade everything fully, craft a lot of stuff, beat a lot of bosses, find the collectibles, and then that is job done. It's a fun game, and Tulko Itzod, or the last king of, uh, what the hell is it, the last kids on Earth and the Staff of Doom, will be eating dust in your backlog if you manage to get this done before it pops off. What a name, Tulko Itzod. Now, this was a great game. Infinax is a 2D platformer metroidvania with some really cool art styles, combat, enemies, just everything. Legit, this would be a tough enough completion as to get the full 1k, you're gonna need to be doing at least, at the very least, four playthroughs. But the reason this is a lovely 3 out of 10 for completion, and it's everyone's favourite, cheats! Woohoo! Now, this is the only time cheating is acceptable, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, you can put on invincibility, big jumps, gold, whatever it is, and all, the, all of the achievements will still unlock. But the hardest thing about this is you have to do very specific actions in order to complete a good and ultimate good playthrough, then an evil and an ultimate evil playthrough. 
Now, the, re the rest of the achievements are relatively straightforward, so that's not too bad. But this is still very enjoyable, so, you know, get on this ASAP. Uh, <laughs> just do it. It is very fun. Now, all I can do for this game is... The, uh, that was an attempt at Sideshow Bob's noise, by the way, when he's getting hit in the face with rakes. But, first off then, let me tell you, do not listen to true the True Achievements Estimated Time. Uh, Skull the Hero Slayer says it is still one to two hours now, which is completely wrong. Completely wrong. So basically, there used to be a debug menu where invincibility, you could put invincibility on, skip all levels, and all of that was a thing until the devs, very kindly, in a sarcastic way here, patched it. Um, otherwise, to do this legit, you are going to need to WORK, and that is uh, capital W-O-R-K exclamation mark to get the full 1K here. Reason being, for this roguelike platforming specialty, you're going to need to basically beat every boss without getting hit. So that's each boss separately for separate achievements, but kind of think of Hollow Knight in this respect. Tough, very tough bosses. Sometimes you even need some random generated uh, help to help you at all in order to completely not get hit. So basically, if you do have a lot of time and an incredible amount of patience, I'd say get this done. I mean, it is still a fun game if you do sort of just want to play it casually, but if you're a sucker for punishment, get your bunnages on this punnagejidge. Th th that's a word, right? Yeah, of course, of course. But enjoy, enjoy, enjoy anyway. So that's all the games then leaving Game Pass on or around the 15th of February. So what are you going to smash out and do? Or what are you just going to casually play? Let me know in the comments below. Enjoy what you can. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Big love. Saving the world. And now we got to do it all over again. <laughs> I love driving in the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs>